Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Q. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna talk all about why it's so important to properly set your data types when you're configuring aggregations. All right, so got a lot of questions about this when I did the first video. People were like, Patrick, I can't properly configure my aggregation because it doesn't pick up the mapping. So I decided to do a video, all right? So you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so imagine you, you've built out your data model, right? You've set everything up, you set the uh, aggregation table to import because you're configuring ags, the dimension is set to dual, and you're ready to configure your aggregation. I'm gonna go ahead and click the little ellipsis right here and choose manage aggregations, and I'm gonna start doing my mappings. I'm gonna map the aggregate to the detail column. So the first thing I'm gonna do is say, I'm gonna sum the sales amount, sum the, um, quantity, and then I'm gonna choose the detail table, and then I'm gonna choose my detail columns. But they're not there. It doesn't work. Hmm, what do I do? All right, so the problem is the data types aren't the same between the detail table and the aggregate table, and you have to set those properly, okay? So let me show you how to do it. So we're gonna hit cancel, and we're gonna go back into the query editor. And I'm gonna to go to my ag and I'm gonna change my data type. So for the count, it needs to be a whole number and we'll give it some time to do what it needs to do. And then for the other two, I'm not sure, but it's easy if I go back to my online sales and look at the sales quantity, cause I'm trying to map it to the sales quantity and the sales amount. That one's a whole number. That one is a fixed decimal right, currency. So then I just switch back over and I change those, right? I change them exactly to what they need to be. This one needs to be a fixed number and this one needs to be a whole number. So once those changes are made, then I will hop back to my report and do my mappings, all right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we'll click, we'll click close and apply. So now that it's done, all I need to do is go back to manage aggregations and do my mappings, right? So I can go, bam, there's my count. Choose my details table. We're gonna sum them up, both of these. They're both from my details table. And watch this, look, look, right? Anything that matches, it'll work. So I'll choose sales amount and I'll choose sales quantity, right? And click apply. And just like that, everything works. It's so great. Now I can continue with my aggregations. Everything should be super duper fast. What do you guys think? Have you experienced this? Do you have any comments, questions or comments? You know what to do. Let's continue the conversation. Where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.